This is a $2,000 mini budget Emoto, and you can turn it into a 13 kilowatt mini Stark Varg. We're gonna go over how to do that today. We're also gonna go ride this on the city streets, but the difference is this time, it's gonna be street legal. We're also gonna go over later in the video how to make an RTR light street legal, different laws to avoid and look at. Keep watching, you're gonna find out what you need to know, guys. So with the RTR light on the website, you're gonna find the True Moto upgrade kit, which was actually dropped in price uh, right after they put it on the actual website. It was originally says $9.99, plus you still had to buy the upgraded battery, which is another $11.99. Dropped it down to $6.70, which is a dope thing to see, especially in this market where everything's getting more expensive. You will have to get the RTR mod pack battery, which is a 72 volt, 35 amp hour battery. It's on sale, it's $1,199. Usually it's $1,499. So, you know, you do wanna grab that long before the price changes again. So, we're just gonna quickly go over showing you how you actually do the upgrade. The upgrade's super easy. The display still works. They come with all the connectors, even the new uh, hardware that's needed to do the different modes. And I believe there's a power on switch as well. So, real quickly, I'm just gonna pop that down. I, just, I actually broke that little pin that it comes with to unlock it the first time I did it. So just be careful because, you know, I'm a caveman. Okay, so right here is the stock controller for the 60 volt, 20 amp hour RTR light. There are four bracket bolts on there. You're gonna take those four off, right? After you've pulled the battery out, you're gonna disconnect the motor and everything else from said controller. Take that off. The new kit is going to come with uh, a plate to cover that because the new spot to put the uh, controllers back here actually. Uh, for the True Moto 13 kilowatt peak version that you can set up and connect to your phone. Then the motor down here only takes a few bolts. There's one over there and there's a few over here on this side. So you're gonna have to take all that loose. True Moto controller right here, just like it does in the, in the instructions. Uh, the, the new hardware will go up here on the handlebars. This display still connects totally fine to the true motor and the new battery. Um, you'll connect the new motor, which you can pick high torque or high speed. I would recommend high speed because it's 67 miles per hour top speed with the new upgrade they have. Uh, you then can change the motor out, put the new one in, like I said, a few volts. You got both those things in. You connect the controller and the motor and everything just like you're supposed to. Put the new battery in hook that stuff back up, it's that simple. Connect it, turn it on, make sure it functions properly, nothing sparked, it didn't do anything backwards, be careful in these areas. And now to get to the part that I really, really am excited about, which is how to make the RTR light street legal. Now, laws are gonna vary state by state, area by area. For example, in my state, I cannot legalize this to go on the road, but in my area where I live, I can't. As long as I don't get on a single highway that has four lanes or any road that has 55 miles or above posted. Beyond that, I'm fine as long as I follow a few simple rules. One, I can put these universal Amazon, they're really bike turn signals, but I'm going to put these bad boys right up here off this bar because they protrude enough that you can see them to signal. I have the, uh, the I guess, receiver, transceiver, whatever, the, the signal output to tell which way I'm turning right up here and then last but not least most important is in my area it has to have insurance um, progressive and a few other companies with the VIN and the information is a zero cc scooter so don't have to worry about that and it's five bucks a month so I just paid 60 bucks this girl's now road ready and then we're gonna go on a ride down in the city all righty Hell yeah, we got the dual cam, we got the house shoes on. We are going riding as a legal, oh wait, are we legal? Wait a second, wait a second. We are at a brisk 77%. We are in sport mode. We're just gonna go for a little cruise, brother. A street legal cruise, which is different than usual. <laughs> Usually we just play with getting this bad boy fucking impounded. 
God, it's so cold. It's only 40 something degrees, but it is hell on my hands. Act like it's got regen braking on, dude. That's weird. Oh, oh, when you brake, it's such a good reprieval from the cold. <laughs> It's so flipping cold. It was 81 degrees two days ago and it is now 40. What the fuck? <laughs> that back tire was a little bit aggressive. Thank God, dude, my town's dead during the day. Oh, dude, that's in a very bad spot. I need to move that over to here. I don't know, what, what was I thinking putting that there? Yasma fucking competitor called the Mile Pop One. Bad boy's on sale right now for twelve ninety nine. Fella. <laughs> Without sport mode, I would not ride this bad boy. The road, I swear to God, is out to get me. Look, what the fuck is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Could put some grates over that bitch. They're like, let's just scrape out some fucking asphalt. <laughs> that southern education for you, brother. The trees! House sheets for the wind, brethren. What's up, black cat? Thanks for not crossing me. This is the RTR Lite, a beautiful 13 kilowatt max power bike. She's not 13 kilowatt now. Everything you just saw was 5,000 watt peak. I'm telling you, almost three times the amount of raw power you can get that through the links on my video. And the exact way I showed and explained how to upgrade it. Do not miss out on this opportunity. It is truthfully a mini Stark bar, guys. Check the links. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an excellent day and stay warm and be safe this winter, guys. See you later.